it YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and in honor of Zion Williamson returning tonight returning to the court finally the hype has been building up for some time now and the guy is finally gonna play tonight he's only expected to play like 15 to 20 minutes but still it's still something uh, obviously NBA was like oh my god Zion's playing so we have to put this TVA or put this game on national live TV because before it wasn't so they're like you know they got all crazy and thought oh my gosh we have to put this guy on national TV because he generates money. I mean, everybody's going to be watching this game. So, uh, make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed this video. It would be greatly appreciated. But, you know, since I thought Zion was coming back, I thought it would be fun to go ahead and do a New Orleans Pelicans rebuild. So, this team has been interesting this season. Uh, they're actually a really, you know, not too bad. Zion's probably going to come off the bench tonight. But, in reality, he's going to start for us. So, uh, I don't know how know how they're gonna groom him in or anything but he will gonna he is gonna go ahead and start for us so obviously Lonzo has been good in the absence of Zion Brandon Ingram has been good in the absence of Zion so it'll be interesting to see how Zion affects those two but other than that guys I mean this team obviously has got some work to do and they have a very very bright future ahead of them I mean they have picks on picks they have oh my god it's just there's a lot there's a lot that uh this team can generate so i'm very happy with this team going forward i'm not going to trade anybody right now uh drew holiday was kind of around in the trade rumors and everything but it's kind of died down lately for him and you know he is somebody that i still could trade in the offseason that's why i'm not trading anybody now and of course brandon ingram is our number one priority this offseason but other than that guys i think for this first season not going to do too much we're just going to go ahead and see how this team finishes out i expect to be in the lottery and once we're in the lottery hopefully we can draft another player to keep building this pelicans team back up into the first season the los angeles clippers have won a championship with Kawhi leonard leading the way over the bucks in four games we went 37 to 45 which is a lot better than i thought we would do honestly if this team was healthy for a full season on 2k they probably would have made the playoffs but i'm still gonna change things so league meetings it all depends on where our draft pick uh you know lands we'll see what we can do here but we are projected the 12th pick overall so kind of wanted a little bit more than that we have a one percent chance of getting the number one overall pick but you never know so let's see what happens we stay at number 12 okay so we do stay at number 12 alvin gentry's ratings are not great on here he's a decent coach in real life but i'm probably gonna fire him just because his ratings are bad that's the only reason why i'm doing it so i'm gonna reset this whole staff and go with a new staff in the future we got to get michael stopper because his ratings are ridiculous for no reason and then we'll get a ooh uh nicholas foster with the b plus and a um we're gonna have to all right let's let's can we do that okay we can and then i guess we'll get nicholas foster b plus and a although i would have gotten three if i did the a minus and the c so I don't know why I did that, but that's all right. Not a big deal. So Logan Smith, we'll sign him, I guess. And for the draft, we end up with number 12. So uh, not really where I want to be. We have a bunch of second round picks. Really, this team, what this team needs is like a kind of a shooting. We need a shooting guard replacement. I'm thinking like Anthony Edwards would be a nice, uh, you know, a little plug and play there. We'd even go with LaMelo Ball, you know, pair Alonzo and LaMelo together if we want to do something crazy like that. So, yeah, I think Drew Holiday is probably somebody we need to be trading anyway. Uh, he just doesn't really fit the timeline of the team. And uh, honestly, he deserves to be probably in a, you know, different system. But we could trade this Drew Holiday and our first round pick for Brandon Clark. Not going to do that, though. That would be kind of silly. Aaron Gordon, Kyle Kuzma. Let's keep looking. Blake Griffin. Kelly Oubre, Andrew Wiggs. So, not, you know, nothing crazy there. So, I think I will try to move up. Um, I'm gonna tra If I'm trading Drew Holiday, I'm going to try to move up into the top three. So, let's do that. Let's go with number three, honestly. Let's do this. We'll, 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 let's see if we can just do this for Drew Holiday straight up. And they want my 2020 first round pick in a second. And we move up. That's honestly not a terrible trade because we get rid of Drew Holiday. Like, we don't need him. Let's see if I can do this without trading my first round pick this year, though. Let's see if I can get away with that. Um, Let's offer all of my, not my first. Let's offer all my seconds. And then let's see if they'll take it for this. They probably still want my first round pick. They want my 2021 Cleveland Unprotected and a 2022 Unprotected. So obviously that Cleveland pick becomes very valuable, though, in the second season. So I don't know if I want to do that necessarily. Ah, oh, that sucks. So let's see. What if they take a 2021 Lakers pick instead? Okay, I think I just made a good trade. I honestly, there were so many things going on there. I have to recheck if I did a good job. So we got a first round pick. We traded Drew Holiday and a bunch of second round picks. And one first so yeah seconds really don't matter anyway 
never really use them in 2k you know obviously in real life i wouldn't trade that many seconds but we end up with the third overall pick and the 12th overall picks so we have two first round picks hopefully anthony edwards slips to us because that's who i want i haven't drafted him a while or Lamelo wouldn't be bad either but let's see what happens so wise the number one anthony edwards went number two so i guess we'll be pairing Lamelo and uh lonzo together so Lamelo and lonzo are going to be in the backcourt together i almost accidentally skipped over i did not mean to do that let's go to number 12 and see what we can get here for number 12 Jaden mcdaniels is here and that is going to be the guy we're going to have to take he's going to be a nice bench player for us so Jaden mcdaniels welcome to new orleans that was a very good draft we got a 79 and a 78 i believe uh yes that is a good way to come out of the draft so welcome both player options none and then of course as we all know brandon ingram is the big free agent that we want to get back immediately so now we look into free agency as far as our you know what players we have as free agents Derek favors is a free agent uh ingram i'm gonna you know evaluate everybody real quick to see if i need to resign anyone but now we have both ball brothers we have way too many balls here so let's go ahead and see move lamello to you know point shooting guard and then lamello six eight so he could definitely play that so lonzo is gonna stay at point guard i like him a lot he's uh you know he, like i said he's been balling in real life so i'm gonna try to keep him starting so lamello starting next to him that should work out well josh hart backing him up that should be fine uh jada mcdaniels darius miller uh, i kind of need to get rid of him as soon as possible he's not gonna really be big nico melli was kind of a nice veteran here jackson hayes could be the starting center he's a 79 overall so it's not terrible he is a little eh, i mean he's 6 11 so i guess it's not too undersized obviously zion's gonna start but brandon ingram is the guy we need to bring back of course so i think we kind of are good i mean we could use maybe a backup point guard or so like we could definitely use some bench players and we have money that's the thing we're gonna have money uh Derek favors i think i'll go ahead and leave him uh, you know leave him be uh oka for you know i actually wouldn't mind getting oka for back to back up um you know what's his name jackson hay so i'm not gonna go crazy spinning in this free agency we could bring anthony davis back to new orleans but i'm not gonna do that uh brandon ingram is the guy we obviously want back immediately and he has what are the offers he's getting one year 80 18 million dollars that's funny i don't think he would ever take that power forwards or center is what i want so let's go get i think i just want okafor back honestly uh we could get favors i'm just gonna take okafor though i think he's gonna be a decent option so we're gonna get okafor to start this free agency and now let's go look at point guards that we can bring in here our shooting guard just anyone like just anybody that you know that would be decent i guess to back up you know, we got Nate Piers of the world, Chris Dunn's. Um, you know, D'Anthony Melton's actually been pretty good over there in New Orleans, or not New Orleans, in Memphis. Austin Rivers is a three-star fit. Uh, three and a half for Kadeem Allen. Let's keep looking. Uh, three and a half for Rondo. I honestly wouldn't mind Rondo. Collison wouldn't be bad either. Reggie Jackson, and then you got uh, Darren Collison. I guess I'll offer Darren Collison a one-year deal because he, you know, what kind of wanted to come out of uh, retirement. So obviously, matching Brandon Ingram, we weren't going to let this man walk, even if he was offered $100 million a year. So yeah, we're good there. And now let's look. What we, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, yeah. So we basically have our nine-man rotation. So we should be good, honestly. We have a ton of money we could spend, but. I'm not going to be big, you know, a big spender in this free agency. I like next year's free agency a lot better. And uh, we still have some players we can send to the G League and such. So we're good. I think we're looking pretty good. And now Alonzo and Lamelo should be interesting. And now that we have, uh, you know, that Cleveland pick, that should help us too. Because that usually becomes the number one overall pick, I think, in the 2021 offseason. So hopefully that happens for me because that would be great. And I could draft, uh, I don't know, I could draft anybody like Cade Cunningham. You know, we would have to see what we want to do with Lonzo. But Cade Cunningham and Lamelo backcourt with Zion and Brandon Ingram. That sounds pretty deadly, honestly. So we'll have to see how uh, we can pair this team together. But I'm excited. I think we have a good foundation going. Obviously, New Orleans is in a very good position to be contenders one day, as it stands right now, along with Oklahoma City. I love what Oklahoma City is doing in their rebuild as well. But in that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and sim it to the end of next season. We'll recap the rotation at the end, and of course, we'll show the stats, and hopefully we'll find ourselves in the playoffs. At the end of the second season, Giannis Antetokounmpo comes out with the most valuable player. That's usually what happens. But unfortunately, James Wiseman is the rookie of the year. reason why I say that's unfortunate because Cleveland was probably better where they probably won't give us the first round pick, which just sucks. I think it might be a protected pick as well. Porzingis is your most improved player, though. Not, you know, don't really see that too often. But All-NBA first team. Did we get Zion Williamson? I don't know. Yeah, we do on the All-NBA third team. All right. All-Defensive first team. 
An all-defensive second team. Very good all around. LaMelo does make it on the all-rookie first team. And then here's your all-rookie second team. We get Jay McDaniels as well. Awesome. Uh, did Cleveland... Cleveland did not make the playoffs. Let's see if they were bad. Uh, hopefully they were. Um, They were. Okay, so they were still bad. I figured James Wiseman would have made them a little bit better, but he didn't. Okay, good. But we are the fourth seed in the West, it looks like. Here are the standings. Uh, the Grizzlies, 39-43, made it. So we get to play the jazz in the first round so that should be an interesting series but let's go ahead and see what the stats were looking like we had uh 22 from mr zion williamson 20 from brandon ingram and 15 from lamello and 14 from jamie daniels off the bench and lonzo 10 and 9 lonzo i like lonzo a lot because he's kind of that support point guard like that you know jason kidd basically he goes out there distributes the ball and that's all we need him to do jackson hayes had two blocks a game and almost a double double so that's really all I can ask for. I like that out of Jackson Hayes. So, I mean, this team did pretty good. It's not bad, but uh, I don't really know what we're missing, but here was the rotation. I was looking, maybe a better bench would be, you know, you know, handy dandy, but we'll have to see uh, what cards we're dealt in this off season and see what changes we need to make. But hopefully we can somehow beat Utah in the first round as we're up 1-0 to start. Uh, they even it up with us. Let's not lose to the Jazz as we're the higher seed. But we're down 3-1, so, so far this is not a good start to the series. So, they want to give more minutes to Zion and less to Darren Collison. I'm okay with that plan. So, let's see if we can come back in this series as we do win this one on our home floor. Lonzo, is that Lonzo or Lamelo? That is Lamelo. I was about to say, that's a nice stat line from Lonzo. Lonzo almost had a triple-double in that game, so that's actually a very nice stat line from Lonzo as well. So, let's him cast with uh, this game again. We are on their home floor this time. They still want to go with Zion with more minutes. I'm okay with that. Let's go ahead and see if we can win this game. If we can, I believe we will make it to the second round. So, yeah. Bye-bye, Utah. I'm already saying it. Bye, Utah. Because you cannot come to New Orleans in a Game 7 situation where the momentum is on our side. There's no way. There's no way you're beating us here. There's just zero chance that's happening. So, let's go ahead and, you know, finish these Utah Jazz off. what are you kidding me why did we do that why did we do that just to lose are you kidding oh my god all right whatever whatever you know what we got a whole entire off season to do we're fine utah goes on we could have played memphis if we beat utah you gotta be kidding me oh my gosh i don't know if we would have gotten past the clippers are the grizzlies about to do the most oh my gosh the Grizzlies went 39 and 43 and made it to the nba finals Anything is possible. Anything is possible in this game. Wow, what do the Grizzlies even have? I mean, obviously, John Moran is a beast. I mean, basically, their team. I mean, they signed Jeff Teague, so Jeff Teague must, uh, you know, it seems like if that's, if that's what Jeff Teague's doing for the Grizzlies, watch the Atlanta Hawks make it to the playoffs this season with Jeff Teague there. So, man, that's crazy. But let's go to uh, the league meetings and uh, get this offseason started. So, we're going to eject all of these and go to the draft lottery because I have a feeling we're going to get the number one overall pick, and I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. So, we are projected number one overall pick via Cleveland. Let's see if I stay there. And, of course, we get the number one overall pick. I low-key kind of didn't want it because now I don't even know what I'm going to do. Obviously, I can draft Cade Cunningham, who's the best player out of this draft. Uh... You know, in 2K anyway. I don't know. I don't know enough in real life about college basketball that I could be making that assumption. But number one, I mean, we got to do something with it, you know, of course. So it's going to be interesting to see what we decide to do. But we have two first round picks, maybe even three if I, uh, nope. Okay, two. So let's go ahead and see what the number one overall pick could get me via trade. I'm just curious what would be offered to me. Zach Levine and Ricky Rubio. Done. Just kidding. All right. Uh, CJ McCollum in his canter. Nikola Vucevic, Evan Fournier, Malcolm Brogdon, the Sabonis. Obviously, some of these offers aren't terrible. Don't get me wrong. Tobias Harrison, DeRozan, and Mr. Bradley Beal and Marcus Morris Sr. There was some rumors about Bradley Beal potentially coming to New Orleans, but uh, that was a while ago now. And I think I'm just going to have to draft Cade Cunningham. I'm going to have to. So that's what we're doing. Poor Alonzo, because I definitely don't want to bench the guy. But, I mean, when we're, you know, when we're given the number one overall pick... I can't question that. And we got to take him. So, Cade Cunningham, come to New Orleans. And let's go to the 22nd overall pick and see what we get here. As we get Isaiah Jackson, which we will take. And then we're going to sim to the end on that. And just like that, we got a few good players out of 
the draft. Okay, so Nikel Alexander Walker also sent it the G League. So yeah, we're gonna have some options. Qualifying offers Josh Hart, um, Frank Jackson, and then Lamelo or Lonzo, I should say, is a free agent. I definitely don't want to lose Lonzo. Don't get me wrong, but now he might not even start. It depends, I guess. Negative ten million dollars. Uh, Darius Miller, we won't be bringing back. And we have quite a few free agents. Uh, Frank Jackson, Nico Melli. I won't be bringing back Darren Collison. We have $21 million outside of Lonzo and what's his name? So, interesting. So, uh, Nick Alexander Walker could easily just back up LaMelo next season. We have Ingram, so we probably will lose Josh Hart, actually. Uh, power forward, and then we have center. So, basically, we could do um, anything. We could honestly do anything with this team. Let's just see if there's anybody. Like, can I get Joel Embiid for no reason? I mean, that'd be interesting. No, he's untouchable. Okay. Uh, the Cavaliers are selling. I'm not going to trade for James Wiseman. I honestly just thought about it for a second, but I'm like, nah, I'm not doing that, actually. Uh, the buying. The Grizzlies have nobody that's untouchable. Ooh, I would love to get John Morant. I honestly would. And you know what? I might. I might just do it. You know, I've got Kate. I've had Cade Cunningham before in, you know, videos. So I almost want to go for John Morant. Uh, and you know what? We're doing it. We're definitely doing this. So let's offer... Uh, the Grizzlies job or uh, Cade Cunningham let's do it so Cade Cunningham or John Morant uh, they're not gonna do it straight up obviously but we have the assets to get them so we're gonna grab this man uh, from Memphis so let's go ahead and offer them Isaiah Jackson as well and we get John Morant so we just paired John Morant and Zion Williamson together so John Morant's gonna start a point guard for us and uh, we're not looking back so we have John Morant LaMelo and that is gonna be nice okay wow wow okay very nice very nice indeed so john Morant's gonna be a different look he's an 88 overall already so that is even better um what about lamello what could lamello get us could we you know go high here uh bradley beal nikella we'd be oh ooh, d'angelo russell as well eric pascal we could go crazy and you know just go all out but i i don't think we need to do that i don't think we need to do that you know i could do it but i think it'd be too much talent you know there'd just be too much too much just too much it's just too much out there so we're gonna get uh probably lonzo back i assume uh, although he wants a crap ton of money wow josh hart um we might i might not bring you know i wouldn't mind bringing back josh hart is what i'm trying to say uh but as far as backup power forwards are concerned let's get one that'll come off the bench and be decent uh tj leaf uh you know what actually isn't looking too bad frank the tank offer him a one-year deal just to be our backup power forward or something and then i'll wait for lonzo and i'll also wait for josh hart but if i think this team should do good but if i made a mistake by not trading for d'lo trust me man trust me when i say this i could have done that but you know sometimes when you just get way too many ball handlers or way too many scores it does not work it just doesn't because there's just one basketball and way too many players out there so yeah that's why i'm not trying to do that so i'm gonna go ahead and secure everybody else but and that should be it that should be the only moves we make so i'm going to go ahead and simulate to the end of the third season and hopefully the end this third season we don't get eliminated by utah we don't get eliminated in the first round and we actually just win that championship the season has come to an end yash on Decupo ends up being the mvp Cade cunningham on the grizzlies obviously replacing john Morant's your rookie of the year old depot is your sixth man and Kawhi's defense player on the portland trailblazers wow okay interesting and jason tatum is your most improved so yeah we have a full full 58 and 24 roster so very very good the proficiency was a four star system at seven seconds let's go to the game plan we have john morant uh lamello uh brandon ingram zion jackson hayes lonzo jay mcdaniels alexander walker and jackson hayes so yeah our team was pretty nice so let's go ahead and see what the player stats are looking like uh we had 26 from zion 18 from john morant so those two led the way uh very awesome they played together in uh was it high school i think I think they played together at some point or something like that. Lamelo, 17 points per game. Brandon Ingram was 16. So yeah, there's no way we are on. A, we're actually kind of on a championship rut lately. I haven't won a ring in a while, so hopefully we're able to do it uh, here. But we're up 2-0 on the Rockets, up 3-0, and can we sweep the Rockets? Uh, interestingly enough, we did sweep them, and now we get to play the other team I have respect for. Actually, now the Thunder lose, so now we get to play Phoenix. Let's go ahead and see if we can beat them. They're up 1-0 to start, 2-0. Do not go down 3-0 to Phoenix. Oh, my gosh. What do they have? Devin Booker, Aiden Aldridge, Bull Bull. It's that man. It's him. It's this guy. I'm telling you. This guy always just balls out. I don't know why. 17 points per game on Phoenix right now. 
per 36 minutes, 26 points per game. Why are we down 3-0 to the Phoenix Suns? You've got to be kidding me. And now we're going to go on their home floor. And actually, we're... Or, no, yeah, we're on their home floor. And we're probably going to get swept by the Phoenix freaking Suns. Come on, man. I, my team was way... But it's Bull Bull, I'm telling you. It's Bull Bull. You know what? Every video I do now, I'm going to... I'm just going to sign Bull Bull. And I'm going to immediately win the championship. Because he's a cheat code, I swear. John Morant and Zion, Brandon Ingram... And Lamelo couldn't get the job done. You got to be kidding me! Wow, we are going to continue with our championship run as the Celtics have won the championship. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching the video. Definitely leave a like it if you enjoyed. Uh, Kim Walker wins the Finals MVP. So my plan after the trade deadline or even before the trade deadline, uh, once you know more of the trades come in after the trade deadline, my plan is to transfer over to more realistic rebuilds. Uh, let me know if you guys like that idea. If you don't, just let me know. If you do like it, let me know. I need to get a head count of who wants to see realistic and who doesn't. But anyways, guys, this is Crushables, and I'm saying peace.